In this episode of Dr. Backpacker and Friends, we travel to Maine to climb Mount Katahdin, Maine's highest point in the northern terminus of the Appalachian Trail. It was initially named by the Native Americans, Katahdin meaning the greatest mountain. Just two weeks before our Colorado hiking trip, I broke my ankle while on a run and we had to cancel the trip. Luckily, we ran into a Katahdin campsite available from a cancellation and headed there two months after the fracture. Dr. Backpacker here and we're at Mount Katahdin in Baxter State Park. We set up our tent here in the campground right for the evening. It's been raining all evening. It's been raining all day today. I expect it for a rainy hike tomorrow as well. If you plan on hiking Mount Katahdin, be sure to plan in advance. Make reservations for a campsite and or to climb or backpack many months in advance. We landed a last minute cancellation after we had to cancel our Colorado trip because of my ankle fracture. Yeah, it was 5 a.m. We made it through the night. The tarp didn't do as well. It's kind of like a tornado last night with rain and wind. But we made it through, for the most part dry. More rain expected. So here's the trail. It's more than just a stream. We had four. 0.4 inches of rain in the past 24 hours here. So we're just walking down the stream essentially. And we're on the saddle trail now because Cathedral is also like, t although now we're getting second thoughts that so maybe the Cathedral might have been a little bit better. And this ranger kind of suggested this route today because of the weather. Yeah. So there you have it. It's literally just climbing a waterfall. Well, you wait here. All right. So going up the creek here, tough on a ankle is still healing. We're making it up there. Beautiful day so far, but they expect rain. Although I just had a fibular fracture that was in line, Recovery was humbling and very eye-opening for me toward our trauma patients with horrific fractures. Our prayers go out to all families recovering from traumatic fractures and associated illnesses. Always check with your physician and physical therapist to see when you can return to activity. Follow their recommendations on exercises and stretches to expedite your recovery. From the summit we found the Knife Edge Trail, which is a famous trail that walks along the ledge. And although only 1.1 miles, it's quite the experience. It also gave us something to look forward to after the summit. The Knife Edge Trail was incredible, and because of the rain, the wind, and the poor weather, we essentially had it all to ourselves throughout the entire trail.
Although the trail is narrow in some sections, and there's quite the drop off on each side, the handhelds were excellent and overall felt very safe. After the Knife Edge Trail, we took the Helen Taylor Trail back to the campsite. That's the Knife Edge Trail. Head back over to Baxter Peak. Beautiful hike. Very pretty. Definitely worth it. Trail back from the knife edge back to Rowing Brook. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I just really didn't know what I was going to do if, if we ran into trouble, if he slipped or hurt himself. Uh, I had no plan. I rolled over my healing ankle and luckily I was wearing an ankle brace and boots with trekking poles. The poles were an invaluable crossing the streams with a weak ankle. A special thanks to my physical therapist at ATI who helped me get to the point I could do the climb. So yesterday we hiked uh, Mount Katahdin and did the Knife Edge Trail, highly recommended. We did a little bit unusual route. We actually hiked up the Saddle Trail and then across the Knife Edge and down Helon Taylor and I'd highly recommend that. They had about four and a half inches of rain that night and a bit of the trail was a, uh, a stream. Well, once you hit the summit, it gives you something to look forward to on the way down, hiking across the Knife Edge, which uh, again is the, really the highlight of that trail. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Thanks and see you at the trailhead! Thank you.